If you are researching the best schools in the Pittsburgh area, chances are the Mount Lebanon School District will be one of the districts that shows up often. Stay right here to hear my perspective on the pros and cons of the Mount Lebanon schools. Hi, my name is Mark McClinchy and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mark Knows Pittsburgh. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and check out all my other videos which have become essential resources for people moving to the Pittsburgh area. If you have questions about neighborhoods, schools, and anything else about living in Pittsburgh, feel free to call or message me anytime. The goal of this video is to provide you with a more in-depth understanding of the Mount Lebanon School District beyond the top rankings you will find prominently displayed on Mount Lebanon's website. As a former educator, I bring a perspective that test scores and rankings often overlook. More importantly, I have two kids that are graduates of Mount Lebanon and now in college. And I have two more kids that are still in Mount Lebanon schools, one in high school and my youngest in the middle school. As parents, we have hopes that our kids will grow to be happy, kind, and successful adults. We often want our kids to pursue educational and career paths that will challenge them and afford them a comfortable lifestyle. We envision them attending a high-profile college or university. This seems to be baked into the culture of Mount Lebanon schools, where these high expectations for post-secondary excellence have become the norm. At Mount Lebanon, my kids have had access to a broad set of courses and core subjects, as well as electives. They have had outstanding teachers and a challenging curriculum, which has prepared them to be successful in college. Mount Lebanon has a 99% graduation rate and 95% of students pursue post-secondary education. Over one third of students at Mount Lebanon take advanced placement courses and the average SAT score is 1220. Buying a home in Mount Lebanon does come with a hefty price tag, though you might be surprised at how many homes you can find in Mount Lebanon for below 300,000. Check out the link in the description for a list of homes. The 2021 property tax rate for Mount Lebanon School District is 25.6 mils and is the 14th highest compared to the other 43 school districts in Allegheny County. Anecdotally, the assessed values in Mount Lebanon tend to be well below market value compared to other areas around Pittsburgh. So the overall tax burden might not be as high as the tax rate would indicate. But in the end, very few residents of Mount Lebanon complain about property taxes, as many are very satisfied with the services they receive in return. Every school has its share of issues to deal with, and not all of them will be communicated to parents. Sometimes this leads to rumors and misinformation. However, at Mount Lebanon, I have found their communication to always be proactive and transparent. Statements from principals and the superintendent are common to make sure parents are kept in the loop. I have also found Mount Lebanon to have excellent messaging with emails, newsletters, and social media to stay current with events, activities, and reminders. Like many school districts in the Pittsburgh region, Mount Lebanon has a fairly homogeneous student population. According to the PA Future Ready website, Mount Lebanon has 5,361 students. 85% are white, 6% Asian, 3% Hispanic, 3% multiracial, and 2% are black. The lack of diversity is a contributing factor to the bubble that is often associated with the Mount Lebanon community. Though diversity is on the rise in Mount Lebanon, nearly 95% of students were white back in 2005. However, despite the lack of diversity in the numbers, I believe Mount Lebanon schools to be a very welcoming and supportive school system for students of all backgrounds and identities. I have watched each of my kids find unique connections and bonds with classmates and teachers throughout their time in Mount Lebanon. While I have been impressed with their classroom experience, getting excited about certain subjects or topics and from some excellent teachers, it has really been their experiences outside of the classroom that my kids have been so engaged with school. Whether it has been through sports, music, dance, or other clubs, my kids enjoy going to school and feel a sense of belonging that all parents seek for their kids. There are only a handful of walking districts in more than 100 school districts across the Pittsburgh region, and Mount Lebanon is one of them. With seven elementary schools strategically located throughout the community, most students would have about a five to 10 minute walk to their elementary school. There are crossing guards stationed at nearly all intersections, 
and it is common for students to walk in groups or get rides from parents. Walking to one of the two middle schools or to the high school could be fairly lengthy if you don't live in the central area of Mount Lebanon. The district clearly has the resources, but continues to hold the line that funding transportation to and from school is not necessary. If you have questions about the Mount Lebanon School District, please leave them below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video about the schools in Mount Lebanon, be sure to check out this playlist I created that has more content about living in Mount Lebanon. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.